Welcome to the world of Spanglish Gaming. Hello Vikings and welcome to Spanglish Gaming. Less gaming today, more Pascal. So I'm lazy and J and this is about less than three by now, I think. Sorry if I sound a bit hoarse. Uh, my my throat's playing up, so Okay, so last time I think we did variables if variables were characters. Today we're going to do integers. So, what you want to do is again declare your variables, but this time we're going to. Uh, I think we'll write a basic calculator, and what that will do is add two numbers together, and we just need to get the numbers. So, uh, let's get a variable for number one. Here, all I'm doing here is declaring my variables. So, variable number one, that isn't the first variable, even though it coincidentally is the first variable, it's that's just the name of it. And that is an integer, it'll recognize that in Pascal. Number two, again, is an integer. Okay, and the total. You don't need the total, but sometimes it's good to have a total. Uh, yeah, okay. Cool. So there are your in there are your variables. Number one, number two, and total. Now for our main program, what we want is after we begin it, we want to uh, sort of ask the user to put in the numbers. So we put a right line. Uh, then we get a bracket going, speech mark, ignore Skype, uh, don't worry about that, even though I'll probably cut the Skype bit off in the corner, so just pretend I didn't say anything for the last 20 seconds. Anyway, right line, comma, not comma, apostrophe, uh, please, yeah, please input your first first number and oh fuck and then another apostrophe and you end it there and then you end the line semicolon remember every single line there isn't a begin or an end you need to end with a semicolon and there are some some uh, special ones that you don't but we'll get to them so first right, li right line and then you want a read line uh, and then just for the input of the user open up the brackets then here it'll read the name of the variable so you want the name of the first variable number one and then you ask for the second number So again, another right line, open brackets, apostrophe. Uh, please input, oh, fuck sake, input your. <laughs> Shit of typing, sorry. Second number. And end the line. I made a rookie mistake here. I forgot to end the line. That would have been a syntax error if I tried to run it, but I spotted it before I ran it. Then you read the line. Again, probably guessing this. Number two. This is the easy part. It'll get trickier in a second. End the line. And then what you do is uh, I'm a yeah okay right line. No, you don't do that. Just thinking about what you could do. Uh, yeah, okay. So, because we're only going to have one thing, we don't need a total. So I'm just going to get rid of that for F, just for simple sake. Just ignore the total. We can do that another time. It's not really used unless you're trying to find like an average or something. Even then, it's barely used. Okay. So 
on our right line. And we want to put uh, open, open apostrophe. Uh, your number, I mean the total of your numbers is and then what we want is to put a space and the quote then to insert a variable into a line you just put a comma and then here's where the mathsy bit comes in because what you need to do is you need to put in number one and then plus number two and then you can end the then the line with the normal full stop thing again if you saw the last episode you would know that all this is doing is putting a full stop at the end and then obviously well, you will want a read line just so that you can uh, see what it's trying to say instead of it just disappearing let me just compact this okay so here is the program super simple oops sorry <laughs> super simple but it's a calculator we can do more complex calculators once I get around to making these videos uh, enough but I guess I'll run this now now that we've done it and hopefully I shouldn't get an error ok I've got to save it um, just ignore this sorry ok uh, let's see oh yeah <laughs> what's your date of birth I was going to do that actually but instead of this, maybe I'll do that next time. Anyway, uh, we'll call this super, super simple adding. Save. Run. Right. He, you see? Please input your first number. 50. Please input your second number. 25. The total of your number is 75. It is in fact 75. So, just imagine the fun you can have with this kind of stuff, I guess. Uh, I know I have a lot of fun just making random programs. So, I hope if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down and tell me why. If you want to see more, subscribe, obviously. And as always, Vikings out.